Greetings folks and welcome to the first of the three demonstrations that we're going to dive really deep into as part of the digital prototyping and BIM YouTube video series that we're working on here. Uh, this one's going to talk about that first profile. That's the 2D customer that is happy to be 2D and wants to continue to be 2D. So what I'd like to do is, is let's just go through a, an example workflow of how they can take some of their 2D data and turn it into 3D BIM content. So what I've done here is I've brought in some existing AutoCAD 2D block data uh, in with a couple sketches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize that existing 2D data that may have been your existing submittal drawings or cut sheets or, uh, or what have you that you traditionally have passed off to architects, uh, contractors and such that will probably take those and then they'll be forced to create their own 3D models of your designs to include in their BIM projects. Well, with the AC Exchange tool set, what we're going to do is we're going to better position ourselves as, as the premier manufacturer of, of this particular uh, building product and provide them the information that ultimately they need and they want, they're, they're probably asking for today. Now, a couple of real quick tips here while I'm building this out. You'll notice that I have the ability to select through that solid to grab the 2D information that I need to create my next feature. So, a little tip there, that's uh, the, when the arrows pop up in Inventor, that's the Select Other dialog, and you can kind of cycle through your available selection set. So, again, I'm just utilizing some of the extrude features, the existing geometry to, to build out the appropriate level of detail for this design. Now, rather than doing the same operation twice on the other side, um, I'll utilize a, a tool you're all familiar with from AutoCAD, and that's the mirror tool. So I'll just tell it all the features that I want to mirror, the plane that I want to mirror about, and as you can see, now I have all the other features on the other side. So I've built this out to the level of detail that's appropriate uh, for me to pass off to an architect, contractor, what have you. A couple things that you may be aware of when it comes to translating 3D information back and forth. Sometimes the orientation, uh, the universal coordinate system for one CAD application is different than another. And what, what we want to do is be able to make sure that when I bring this into a BIM application, such as Revit, it's oriented the way that I need it to. So that's why when we went ahead and included the UCS option. To now, in addition to that, I want to be able to associate information that's uh, appropriate for the contractor, the architect, to really truly integrate this design into their BIM model. So things like pipe connectors, you see I have ducting connectors, electrical connectors, uh, cable trays, and so forth. So here I'll go through and, and add all the appropriate uh, level of detail information to this model so that they can include that uh, in with, the, uh, with, with their design and truly integrate this uh, into their building systems. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to publish out an ADSK file. Now this package file uh, is going to be consumed in in all of the Revit family uh, products, like I talked about, Revit MEP, Revit Architecture, Revit Structure, as well as the AutoCAD 2D based application. So uh, AutoCAD L, uh, AutoCAD Architecture and AutoCAD MEP. Now what's appropriate then is that I pass along them all the right information that they need in forms of metadata, who the manufacturer was, uh, the part description, uh, any URLs that they need to be able to link to. And prior to passing this along, I'll check the translation report and make sure everything went good. And what they're going to be able to do once they receive this ADSK file is little file open and it creates either the blocks in AutoCAD or the Revit families in Revit. 